Hello, my name is Justin Brightup and today I'm going to show you an awesome life hack for your freezer or refrigerator or anything with a door like this and a seal. So this is Vaseline Petroleum Jelly and the only thing I can tell you not to use this on is something that it's going to react with. Uh, but basically here's the deal, I was taught this by a freezer repairman, um, plant repairman, and this is what he did to fix the problem. So. You know, um, there was a bunch of other stuff he did to, on this freezer when he was repairing it, but um, he put this on there. I didn't know what it was. I had to ask, had to call and find out, you know, if this is actually what he used because I, I couldn't assume, you know. Um, but this is what keeps the freezer door shut. And right now, it doesn't have any on it. It wore off, and that's why it's being held shut with this water, with the shelf up next to it and all that. So the first thing you want to do is make sure your freezer or whatever is level. Uh, with the level, make sure that it's, you know, it's completely level before you even start this because that could be the reason that the door isn't sealing. Now, this has a magnetic uh, door strip on it, the magnetic door strip to make sure, you know, that it's going to stay shut, and yet it still does not stay shut, and I will demonstrate that. Now, for this, if you do it quick enough, you don't even need to transfer the food out of your freezer into a different freezer or refrigerator or whatever, you know, while you're doing this. So, that's another really cool thing about this. So, we're going to do this, and... You obviously want to make sure it's clean enough, you know, before you put this on here. But since you do two things, it's not just going to keep the door shut. It's also going to help um, keep any gaps, you know, for air and help insulate the thing. So, anyway, here we go. So, first, I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to demonstrate to you that this thing, it just kind of opens on its own. So, here it is. I'm going to shut it. And usually it just pops open like that. There it goes. See, and so it still got some Vaseline from the repairman on it, but it's it's worn off. And so we're just going to reapply the Vaseline um, to the door frame, basically. So let's open this up and get started. I'm going to try just to put it on one hand and two fingers, so I don't get it, so it's not so messy. Okay, so we're just gonna. And this is the way it looked when we got it back from the repairman. It was all sloppy all over the place. So we're just going to slop it on there. And yes, I double dipped. So, you know. All right. So everybody knows this about the Seinfeld double dipping. You must not ever double dip. So I'm not eating this, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> And if you have a bug problem with bugs getting in your freezer, this should, I would think, keep them out as well. And you can see how quickly this is going on. I'll try to scoot the camera down just a bit so you can see me doing the bottom as well. This stuff doesn't seem to care about getting frozen. It just, at least at this temperature, it just kind of And this is the only time I would I would tell you to be a liberal because now you got to apply it liberally. You see. It is getting hard as it gets cold, but <laughs> don't really care. Okay, now I could put some on the inside as well. I, it really doesn't matter, but I'll do it anyway. Because where the hinge is, sh shouldn't there isn't much leverage there, but I'll do it anyway just so that just so that it's done. Mm. 
This might help you save energy on your electric bill. There. Now, we shut the door. Like so. And... It sticks. Look, I can pull on it. And it sticks. Okay, another very important part of this before you try to do this yourself is to make sure that this actually works. Don't, after you do this, you gotta, you know, stand by the freezer and make sure it doesn't just open up on you. You know, I would say for at least a day or a week, just absolutely watch this thing. You can't count or trust this hack. I mean, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's worked for me in the past and it's working for me now. Um, I did have to do it again, and I'll tell you what I did. So, you saw me apply it to the inside of the door, and that worked well for a while, but then it opened again. And so, what did I do? Well, I, uh, I opened it up, and I looked at the seal on the inside of the door, and there was barely any touching the actual seal, because there's a little bit of a gap in there um, on the metal between the seal and the door frame, which again causes a problem right so I took more of the Vaseline I probably used half of this container on this project this is 13 ounces of Vaseline I probably used half of it now um, and I, I put it on the inside all over the uh, let you see see how deep that is there um, how much I've used anyways I put it all over the inside of the white um, seal on the door here and now it appears to be holding um, definitely going to save the Vaseline because I'm probably going to have to reapply this you know every six months or every year I would recommend if it works for you for a year I would do it every six months because you definitely want to make sure because once it only takes one time for all your food to spoil and you can't eat it you know it's dangerous it causes food poisoning so um, it only takes one time for the freezer to open and spoil your food so especially in the summertime like right now another thing about freezers while we're talking is you want to keep them in a well ventilated area i mean you want to have it cool you don't want to have all the windows and doors shut and have the sun come in because that's going to work your freezer hard um, another thing about freezers when people work on them is a common thing is for the insulation to actually get wet and freeze and then it's not insulating anymore and so then it has to be taken out and changed um, I guess you could try to dry it out and put it back in, but anyway, and as you can see now, it's been two minutes, two minutes, 30 seconds of videos recording since I reapplied the Vaseline to the inside, the actual door itself, not the door frame, and shut it, and it's still holding. Um, I'll just sit here for a bit and watch it and make sure that this actually works. I mean, you know, you don't want to do a how-to video, a tutorial video for something that doesn't work, you know, so... Definitely a good life hack. I mean, the other thing you can do, obviously, is you can try to put a door latch on it, but there again, in the side, it could be trying to cool through the side. There could be components in here and stuff that you don't want to drill into. Uh, possibly put some adhesive, like, command strip or something on here and use a bungee cord or something. Um, there's a lot of ways to try to latch this thing. The best way is with the key that goes in the door, which we don't have. So, um, this is a Montgomery Ward signature frostless freezer, uh, stand-up freezer. We have another freezer we can throw the food in if, you know, this one quit working, but, um, anyway, so it's still going, it's running because I kept the door open so long. Um, it took a long time for it to start running because it took a long time for some reason for it to drop in temperature while the door was open or for the thermostat to kick in, I'm not sure which. But, anyway, as you can see, it's working. The door is not opened. And I'm very grateful for that. Um, I'm going to pull on it again, test it a few times to see. Yep, there it comes. Now it's going to open. And now I can see where all the Vaseline is and where it's lining up with the door. And see, that's the weird part because all the Vaseline should be right here. But the actual door thing is making contact in a very small place on the freezer it's not as wide as it should be um, I guess I could put a seal on it or something if I wanted to on the inside of the door frame 
Um, you know, but anyway, seems to be working. I'm going to shut it again, stand out here for a while, and make sure that it's actually working. I'll come back and look at it every so often, set a timer maybe. But it looks like everything's fine. I make sure it's nice and sealed. There we go. It's really not such a big deal for me to have something leaning against this door all the time, but other people want to be able to get in here and mess around. So, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.